Coming back from Albacete, I mean, we arrived back in England, literally unloaded the truck to find ourselves going into lockdown, uh, which is an unbelievable state and obviously the right thing to do. So during that period, it has been difficult because of working with our partners and suppliers that have been in the same situation. It's something that we've managed to just keep going and it has worked out. We do have everything that we were aiming for, albeit we would like to have had this three months ago. But, you know, we've got a good package, a good base to develop and move forward for 2020. In Albacete, uh, we really only had the Mutec and the suspension and brakes, tires from the super stock bike, so it was pretty stock. And now we have the gearbox and a few other little things. So step by step, uh, the bike's improving. And yeah, we don't need to get all the parts at once. We need to understand what the bike's doing and put each part on and see the positive and sometimes the negative that comes with that. So far, there's been more positive, so that's good. And we're starting to understand it a lot more. It's a lot different to ride to the old bike that we had. Also, I have a new crew chief. We're working together good. I enjoy the morale that the whole team that I have around me has, and I like that. I'm quite a happy-go-lucky kind of person, and the people around me have that mentality as well, so I feel like together we can do a good job. This game was good. Um, it was good to work with the team properly for the first time on a, like, a super, super stock bike, as you would call. Uh, Albacete, Andrew rode really well, which was like uh, nice to see because you kind of get an idea, right? The bike's capable of doing this. <laughs> it wasn't so strong there, but maybe that was uh, maybe some nerves are going to the new team. I don't know. It was nice uh, working with lads left there in a nice frame of mind and understanding the bike a bit more for what changes to try at our next test, which turned out to be uh, four months later here at Cadwell. The objective here really today is a, a bit of a shakedown. We've got some new components on the bike from a fuel tank, gearbox, fueling, mapping and everything else that we need to evaluate. So we started here with the same bike from Spain, other than the fuel tank and gearbox. So we tank, uh, the position of that was a little bit nicer. I think Andrew started with a standard one and switched to it as well, and you same feedback. So yeah, obviously we've got the new Superbike tank. We started on the standard tank, so Andrew can get back into the swing of things and get a feel for the bike, how it was in Spain, because we ran standard tanks in Spain. And then that way, if anything crops up with how the bike will feel now with the Superbike tank, because the weight is in a slightly different position, I'll know what's caused that. If I started on the Superbike tank uh, and we had issues, then we might be chasing our tail a little bit. Talos Designs has been going for five or six years now. We've got a long experience of designing and manufacturing motorcycle parts. We started out in BSB doing swing arms and fuel tanks. We was in MotoGP, Moto3, Moto2, and basically we've designed and manufactured complete motorcycles that have won MotoGP races. We got the scan data of the fuel tank, the frame and everything, so we know what we're working within. We then use a 3D CAD to produce the 3D pattern, which we then split into different tools that we can use on the press. This is pressed to the first stage, then it's chased in and basically pressed again. And you just keep doing that probably about four or five times till you end up with a finished product. We press each panel and then each panel is trimmed, goes together on the jig, is tacked together very skillfully, final welded, tidied up, pressure tested and hopefully painted. For a tank, is normally about a week a tank, for sure. There's a lot of work and a lot of hand skill. The one thing that we're very proud of in Talos Designs is the skill of the fabricators we have. You know, we've got the new gearbox set up in there, which we knew we were going to move to that. So obviously we started with the new modification to the gearbox and both riders obviously like the direction we've gone in. Now, Nova have been fantastic relationship working with them. I mean, they've got some great products and very, very clever guys as well with their ideas and, and thought process. We've been using Nova gearboxes for a number of years now. It's 
since 1989, Nova's worked with pretty much every major manufacturer at some point. We are active or have been active in World Superbike, World Supersport, Moto3, BSB. Yeah, so we've sort of worked everywhere. The OEM gearboxes are designed and built for a purpose and to a price and within those parameters they're absolutely fine but once you get into the realm of racing you need something more, something a bit extra. The main differences are the materials, heat treatments, surface finishes and detail design that we're able to incorporate with processes like CNC machining and that sort of thing that aren't easily adapted to mass production processes. When we pick a set of ratios Basically, we're closing the gap between first and six, pushing them all closer together with a lot of our superbike work uh, through BSB and through World Superbike. Often, top level riders are looking for a couple of hundred RPM in, in a corner. So, there's been time over the last few years where we've then fine tuned ratios to that extent where they're carrying, say, two or three hundred RPM more or less to suit the throttle and the torque and how the bike feels through the corner at that point. We're able to try different things with a really good sort of test procedure behind it at Honda. They do everything really thoroughly. It's a really good relationship and it's working out really well for us and I believe they're getting a really good benefit as well. It's not going to be quiet for us over the next two weeks. You know, we've got dyno work over the next three days. We're waiting for Kropovich delivery. We've got a new exhaust system to try and run. So there is still more to come, but it is a chicken and egg. We want to get the engine and the character right and everything else for us at BSB, working with the Pirelli tyres. And um, you know, it's a softly, softly approach, bearing in mind that we've got uh, four more weeks to get this done. Practicing a lot of starts today, just because obviously it's a new engine, peak torques in a different area compared to the old bike, so it's just getting Andrew, Glenn, both used to launching the bike in a different area, different RPM. To win two pretty super bike races in one weekend is a big achievement, I think, especially for us coming here with a brand new bike. <laughs>